Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Destiny Mata. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, October 27, 2022. Let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. Comfortably, just taking a big deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you breathe in, noticing how the body expands. As you breathe out, just watching the body soften you gently close the eyes. And rather than the mind leading the breath, allow the breath to lead the mind. Notice the sensation of the breath. These brain breaks sure do help me calm down. Now let's go learn a new word with word of the day. Hey, Santiago, I really had to jostle my way through the crowd today. I had to push my way through the crowd, too. A lot of people had to, actually. Yeah, I feel them. By jostling my way through the crowd, I made it in class on time. Even though I don't like pushing my way through, it helped me a lot. Can't argue with that. See you See tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the day. day. Now let's see what happened today in history with Melanie. Thank you, Destiny. Hello, Patriots. Today in history on October 26, 1954, Walt Disney's first TV show, Walt Disney Wonderful World of Color, known as Disneyland, premiered on ABC. This show is a collection of old Disney productions. Disneyland got a Golden Globe Award for Television Achievement in 1956. The show was the longest-running show in history of television until Simpsons made its appearance in 1989. It was hosted by Walt Disney himself. Walt Disney was the creator of Disney Productions. Sadly, this amazing show was canceled in 1983 due to lower ratings. What's your favorite Disney TV show? Mine is definitely Phineas and Ferb. Now let's see what's on today's menu with Chanel. Thank you, Melanie. Today's tasty lunch is chicken nuggets, barbecue sauce, baked beans, dinner rolls, mandarin oranges, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind that lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch cards. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Destiny. Thank you, Chanel. Lunch sounds delicious. Super Patriots, we are counting on you to complete this quarter's instructional software challenge. Grades K through second, you will need 20 minutes weekly usage in Lexia and 25 past lessons in iReady Math. And for grades third through eighth, you will need 25 lessons passed in iReady Reading and 25 past lessons in Imagine Math. All grades need to complete this challenge by Friday, December 23rd. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. I'm so excited for the Fall Festival on October 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pre-sale ticket and ticket bundles are now on sale on my school books. There will be exciting Halloween activities, and luckily the book fair will be there too, so I can buy all the books I want. Make sure to buy your tickets now so we can see you all there. Speaking of the book fair, it's here and will be here till the day of the Fall Festival. Students can bring in cash or use e-wallet, but no credit cards. Please look at the schedule to see when it's your time to go to the book fair. K-5th. through fifth. The barnyard dance is almost here. It's tomorrow and the entry price is $5. Make sure to dress up in your cowboy or girl attire. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Sophia. Thank you, Destiny. Good morning, Patriots. For today's weather, you can expect a cool 87 degrees Fahrenheit with sunny skies. If you can, go out and soak up some sun. In other weather news, NASA is launching an investigation that's out of this world. When we say this, we're not kidding. NASA is starting an investigation about UAPs or more commonly known as UFOs. If you didn't know, UAP stands for Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon that's usually associated with aliens in space. In more recent years, these things caught in the sky can't be identified as an aircraft or weather phenomena, so professionals from all over are coming in to help with this study. 
So what do you think, Patriots? Do you think these mystery UAPs are real? Now it's time to see your responses with Patriots on the go. Hey, Patriots, and welcome back to Patriot on the go. My name is Bonnie. Now let's see what our peers have to say about today's question. What do you like to do on your free time? Hey, what's your name? Ella. And would you like to be interviewed? Yes. Okay, what do you like to do in your free time? I like to color. What type of coloring? I like to color birds and emotions. Is that your favorite thing to color? Yes. Well, have a good day. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Um, Salome. What do you like to do in your free time? Um, color. You like to color? What do you like to color? Um, fl- flowers. Flowers? Do you have a favorite flower? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite flower? Um, roses. Okay, thank you. That's my favorite flower, too. What's your name? Michelle. And what do you like to do in your free time? Um, I like to eat stuff, and then I like to eat pizza, and then and I like to play with my toys all day. Even I like some stuff like my like my teddies, like as animals. What's your favorite toy? It is my bunny. Good answer. Thank you. Hey, what's your name? Olivia. What do you like to do in your free time? Play. Play with what? Mm. Color. Good answer. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Castell. Would you like to be interviewed, Castell? Yes. What do you like to do in your free time? A uh, painting. What type of painting? People. Is painting people your favorite thing? Yes. Thank you, Patriots, for your wonderful answers. I'll see you guys next week. Great responses, Patriots. Today's birthday girls are Nicole Morales, Kara Nelson, and one of our very own RPTB member, Hadassah Serka. Happy birthday! Now let's get back to destiny. Thank you, Jasmine. Patriots, here are your pet's expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. And now for Wednesday's Daily Challenge winners. Congrats to Ms. Merkel and Ms. Stahl. You two had the correct answer to Wednesday's Daily Challenge, which was, what three numbers, none of which is zero, give the same result whether they're added or multiplied? The correct answer was one, two, and three. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge. Find the correct shadow. Please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.